Tribe, of course, coming through the wild card spot, spot, but a lot of people see them almost like the second seed from NA. TSM haven't impressed as much as they could have done recently. So I think Tribe are, are vying with TSM for that second seed position. Tribe yeah. and Rocks, both of them have looked shaky, but they both also looked strong. Four hundred gold payment back towards you uh, at this six-minute mark. I'm not sure it's oh, oh, Maxie. Maxie. What is this man? This guy does this so often. Steals everything. Kills everyone. A captain who carries his team. Genius and genius trying to get onto Zio. Rose offensive. Not quite the direction he was looking for. He's doing his best. Breaking point starting to stack up, but Zio stacking up oh, a lot faster. T Tiger is able to get one kill. PQQ goes down. Third kill as Mango falls down, and that's the ace for Tribe. Because they're up 5 1. There's the engage. There's the engage. They're going to look to get on Ingenious here once more if they can. The active camo trap. They turn around. They get the stun off onto T Tigers. Both teams trading the damage. Zeo dropping oh. low with breaking play stacks. He blows Ingenious up. And now Mango just run, Kitty Cats run. They can't run fast enough. Zeo. We'll be able to get the kill. One more attack oh, here. Zio. Oh, gives him the taunt. Zeo. I like you. That is a crowd that knows Tribe have just taken a game. That is a crowd that knows Tribe have just dethroned the world champions. Uh -oh. And that is a crowd that knows their home team of it Unity are going done it. to the quarterfinals. GG 2-0 Tribe. the first quarterfinal that is going to be hitting your screens here today. It's going to be G2 Esports going up against Tribe. It's Europe versus North America. Yeah, this is for Zio personally. This is a story of redemption. G2 beat him and set a record as a European team to uh, beat a North American team live on stage. So Zio definitely is, this is personal for him. He wants to take this win and show that he has a better team this time around. Forced away from the fight. You can see the way this is developing. Dark Potato's gotta be careful though. Good fear some shade to buy him some room. Hondor can't stick onto D'Enzio. This this could be the opportunity for Tribe to turn the fight back around. Hondor still looking for D'Enzio. T Tiger's trying to find Dark Potato, not gonna do it. Oh, he's back in there. He gets the kill. Hondor, he's being kited around. He can't stay on target. Keanu, nowhere to be seen. G2 Esports split up in the team fight, and Tribe takes advantage. And on the back line, D'Enzio has made space. Where's that second well, it lands! That is huge! D'Enzio, holy Nova, trying to keep him safe. Divine Intervention, it is going to do so. G2 very close to finding the kill, but it's not quite there. Hundor needs to get back in. He finds D'Enzio! Where is D'Enzio? Still on the other side of the wall, but he's coming in, and he's looking for glory right now. Going for the Vein Crystal, the damage is there! Tribe take game one! Right here, right now, G2 
beginning their assault on the crack and have it at about half health prior to the initiation here. That's going to be the gauntlet coming down. dianzio has got to move. He gets out of there. Undor trying to do some good work on the back line, but Divine Intervention keeps Dienzio so healthy. Hundor, he can't not do it. Dienzio is going to throw out the charm. He's going to pick up the kill. Tribe Gaming are the first team at Worlds 2017 to make it to the semifinals. The team I'm most concerned about is Cloud9 since they're probably the favorites to win the tournament and there's just a very strong team. Fresh in their minds, the Unified Champions uh, Championship in LA where they got defeated. You see, they've uh, can come back with a vengeance. To the tri brush, a lot of damage going back to the boys. There, Dean's the fray straight on top of old school. He's going extremely low. The mortal wound stops the healing. Tribe find first blood, but the fight continues. The NCO is going to trade as well. Attack the back's going to get top. There comes the call. Look, old school falling extremely low. Can't get away from T Tigers. Dashes towards him on the point. There's the kill. The NCO is going to chase Gay Fizzle. Should be an easy cleanup kill for him as well. T Tigers chasing the wolf. Joseph in trouble. Crystal Sentry isn't going to help you now, buddy. Try and find the ace. They found the gold miner as well. And the Crystal Sentry will fall as well. Imagine Try taking the game here and handing Cloud9 their first loss as well. The morale boost that will actually give them for the next few games. Max Green, T Tigers, Dienzio. They claim Cloud9's base and hand them the first loss at Worlds. Undeterred is going to move in, take that back camp again. Old school caught out, wrong place, wrong time. Try find first blood again. Dienzio gets number one on the board. Oh, low fountain pops, but doesn't keep him alive. Dienzio receives the divine intervention. T Tigers moving forward. Old school's, old school's got 17 he breaking points. That's, he blocks the Atlas Moltres as well. Max Green going low. T Tigers jumps back in. Red Mist opens up. He, so gets, one kill. Kill. he, he gets, gets one kill. He gets one kill. They're so low. Dienzio low has to back off. Max Green so close to going down. Oh, Dienzio falls to Joseph and Cloud9 win a back to back fight. Old school. The greatest leader of all time. The second also Max Green going extremely low. Cloud9 deciding to back off right now. Those bad mojos, the empowered ones are starting to hurt. Ordain onto old school. Wrong place, wrong time. Into the frame, not it. quite up. He misses straight into the wall. Very low. Oh, that's There's a the really good engage. Oh, T Tigers manages to just get a little bit of damage down. Gabe Vizzle is going to fall. Joseph going down as well. Dienzio kiting around. Will he be able to get a 30? He does. <laughs> just well, Dienzio still kiting back. 12, 30, 40, 15 breaking point stacks. Old school's going to fall. And already Max Green. Just trying to disengage him. Those vanguards are good. No one can touch DNTO at all. And Ordain locks Joseph in place. And there's another kill. Another ace back to back by Tribe. And as Max Reed does block it, DNTO going very low. There's the first judgment. No, oh, the kill from T Tigers. The twirly death before it even landed. Two. Joseph already falls down to a twirly death. Right, ball walk a little bit too late, you've got to say. K okay, Fizzle takes the passageway backwards and he ends up falling. That's going to be an ace for Tribe. Tribe take the game, they take the series, and they are going to the finals tomorrow. Gaming came from a challenger team this year to a world finalist team. Zio, he's got so much experience. I talked about him being a veteran, but Max Green, he's a rookie, and T Tigers has never seen championship levels like this before. And that's exactly what Tribe was put together to do: was come to the world championship the and take it away.
There's the splash down. Oh, Fish Food does go a little bit wide. Holy Nova also misses. Here comes Dienzio. Splash down to give Creation a little bit of speed up. But Young Juice on the wrong side of everything. Benediction over the wall. Fish Food doesn't quite connect to Max Green. And that's another kill for Try. Dienzio's down now with three seconds up till Creation. They could rotate onto the Kraken. T-Tigers. T-Tigers still going in. Oh. Rose offensive and gets the kill in a 2v1. Nice water wall actually onto Creation to keep him alive. He's going to march forward to find intervention to heal him up. Also, there's T-Tigers call up in the Fish Food. Uses the Rose defensive. Max Green with the water Tress pop. But Dienzio. Dienzio's all alone, a fish through to land the stun. Big stun as well from Max Green's gonna get blocked by the Crucible. Creation's turning this one around. Another water wall to keep him alive, another kill. Two piece for Creation. Max Green is gonna fall as well. Make that a triple kill. Acer on the wrong side, you wonder what's going on. Is this a backdoor attempt? Is this a base race? Is this gonna be it? Dienzio's gonna use his boots in. t Dykes is there as well. Creation oh. is that's out to get that. But Max Green, the rookie, hooks him in. He pulls no him in as well. Try, no they're gonna way. get the backdoor. Dienzio puts up the flare and T Tigers will end game number two. Drive 2 0 up against Ace Gaming. He needs to be able to find something beautiful stun onto him, but Tassa's oh. all alone in the back line. Dienzio and T Tigers dispatch him. Tassa, Yongju, they're all alive. Kraken needs a couple more hits. Ace Gaming, this is their thread, their lifeline, but Tribe are just going to take it to match point. And T Tigers is going to go for the flank. Youngju, fish food on himself, but he is just fed to the fishes, and that will be an ace for Tribe. For the Kraken, they have an ace buff minion wave pushing into the base. Ace buff, the turrets are just going to melt. Tribe, the underdogs coming into this have climbed every and over obstacles, over Cloud 9. Doesn't matter about the Unified Championships because they are right here, right now, climbing over Ace. They are going to be your Vainglory 2017 World Champions.